we are back. MLG Anaheim 2014. Who else is back? My man Prague right here. How's it going, guys? Welcome back, Prague. Uh, did you happen to catch that last match? I don't know if you... I was in the front row on my Woo! feet for that entire set. I mean, that's what's so scary about a player like Amsa. Just the ability to turn a defensive game and defensive option to a strong punish and getting the offense started with, of course, you know, the parry, mm -hmm. the uh, initial frames of that shield, the pre-shielding animation, mm -hmm. making him invincible to everything, literally. When West Balls was in that egg, did you think it was over? I thought it was a wrap, and I know West Balls, I don't know how quickly he was mashing, but he was able to contain his composure. He kept his presence of mind. And speaking of presence of mind, these two players certainly know all about that. They have mm. met time and time again. And this year, PPMD, he, he's, he hasn't dropped a set this year, and that includes against this man right here. Yep. They, they, they've done this dance before, earlier this year, and very recently. PP came out on top. But you know what? That was all practice for MLG Anaheim 2014. You know, everything was leading up to this. We had a lot of qualifiers. These two met at Skate Hard 3. PPMD took the trophy home in New Jersey, Mita King's home state. Mm -hmm. Mutual ground now. Let's see what happens here. Let's do it. As expected, we're going to see the, uh, the Sheik versus Falco to start, but we're going to see some character switching most likely. Definitely. And it will most likely see a Mark Ditto. Yes, on FD. Which will uh, be exciting, but we'll get to that later. First, let's see what Mita King's Sheik can do. Yeah, and of course, you know, PPMD is already looking for a strong punish after the Oh, that was a uh, stronger punish than intended, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, didn't know how strong he was. So with the self destruct from Mewtwo King, uh, you know, now he's going to be down three stacks to four, but there's plenty of time to come back. Definitely. Of course, PP just staying for days on the ledge. Thinking out his punish game, making it pristine, every hit counts. That was... Uh, this guy's Bowser. playing like he's out of his mind right now. He's out of his mind. <laughs> the ship is going down. Uh, nice up tilt there. Able to just kind of scoop him up and then keep it going. And again, just every time that M2K is off the stage, just hold on that ledge, forcing him on stage, and getting a solid punish afterwards. It's looking good. Mewtwo King able to come back with the up air, something that I love seeing him do, and able to come on and get safely, but in the meantime, <laughs> Falco's at 64%. Still on his first stock. Still on his first stock. This guy's crazy. All right, that was a really, really good choice going for the uh, way back on stage with the down tilt, sneaking in really, really long range, and also sneaking below uh, shield some opportunities. Mm -hmm. So Mewtwo King is going to play on the ledge a little bit here, hoping to fish some poor decisions out of PPMD. He's not going to get him. PP knows this game too well. Okay, he's got the chance to intercept the uh, the tour B there. And, oh goodness, there are there are holes in the boat. There are holes in the lifeboat. There's boat. a leak. There's a leak. We need to identify it. All right, but we may have a we have a quick plug in the league. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Those interceptions like that, that forward air going off the ledge, the match can turn around quickly. And look at PP staying three quarters of the screen away. He knows his game too well. He has six minutes, and he's gonna keep shooting lasers for as long as he needs to. We got six minutes. He can't win this tournament until Sunday at 5 p.m. No matter what. Sure. So the six minutes means nothing. <laughs> actually, the two are actually chatting about it right now. But I mean. PPMD just knows that M2K has to approach. He has a lead. He may as well stay comfortable. And look, he's back on 20% just by staying on that ledge. And M2K is very, very comfortable there. He's getting, actually, I don't even know. I, I kind of, if I'm PP, I do want to definitely pressure M2K off the ledge. At the same time, you're giving him time to think, and you don't want to give that man time to think at all. Mm, this is very true. And Amitri King I honestly just looks like he's having a fun time, but that big brain of his, you don't know what's going on. He's thinking about the next match. Do I pick a different character? We already know he's got lots, and he's able to switch effectively between them mid-tournament, which is quite difficult to do. Yes. Meanwhile, it looks like PPMD might lose his stock very, very shortly, all because eventually he went by. And oh. there we go. With the creativity! I love it, and we haven't even gamed. When did this happen? He's sneaky, that new GK. You know, it's about the sprint versus a marathon. While PP pulled ahead, you know, in the longevity of this race, M2K is that dark horse. It just, it's true. Although, again, if, get in the mind of the competitor, right? Before you were down a lot, the match was probably over, you're fooling around. Now it's even again. Now the pressure's on again. Yep, and we've seen that from M2K a lot recently. Uh, we saw him with really tight sets against players like Hacks and West Balls. And then he was just able to pull off at the end, but let's see if he can bring back some of that magic again. That Nair might close it out. It's certainly not a good situation. PP with the shine, following up with the soft back air. <laughs> and the four tails. 
Oh, wow, those limp little forward tilts. They'll finish stocks, though. Oh, definitely. I mean, just push them off back far enough. It's in position to just hold on that ledge, take the ledge, take the game. So you're talking about how uh, Mewtwo King has learned a lot about being able to, to stay clutch and to keep his head in the game. That's because he's been playing so long. He's already Definitely. made the mistakes. Yes, he's made plenty of mistakes. He continues to make them, but he learns from them. Mm -hmm. And that's the important part. He's had time to make them not learn from them, make them a second time, and then learn, learn from, from them, them. Yep. if he wants to. Uh, the, crowd is, the crowd is screaming for Marth. That Black Marth, come on. <laughs> We're going to have this ditto. Oh, Black Marth! Black Marth! Question is, where is PPMD going to go, and why is my tag in there? I haven't played in the Cuban years. Uh, yeah, if PPMD goes Marth, I PPMD is so good in the Marth ditto. Recently, he's, he's so had him to his number as well. And you know, you never want to go Falco or Box on FD, right. and we are definitely not. We're going to see a Marth ditto. Yoshi's. The first Marth ditto of this tournament, and it's a very different matchup than all the ones we've seen so far today at MLG Anaheim. It's, it revolves almost solely around dash dancing. You see players go left, right, left, right, back and forth. It's about playing with each other's range. It's about grabs. Get the proper DIs. And Randall saving PPMD. He knew it was there. Come on. It's PPMD. I don't know about that. I he mean, knew it was there. He's an evil genius, but I don't think he's that <laughs> much of a genius. Right, so here you see the game slow down. Why is it every time I'm up here with M2K, he does that? That's bad luck, man. That's the third one we've seen this set. Of self-destructs, that is. All right. The Black Marth feels so scary against the, uh, the Spaces, the Fast Fallers. Definitely. Against another Marth. It's just a different game. You know that was just the classic slide through down smash. You know that one, Frog. No big yeah. deal. Yeah, I've wanted to see that one like thousands of times. For sure. <laughs> but Mewtwo King, I mean, he's, he's an inventor and a pioneer, a renaissance man. You know, sometimes, even as flowcharts, people like to call Mewtwo King, he will throw something out there that you've never seen before and probably will never see again. So he can be extremely creative when the situation calls for it. For sure, and because he knows the game so well, he's able to adapt mid-match. Definitely. He doesn't have to go back and watch his videos to wonder what happened. That was a bit of a desperation up B. I was wasn't looking for the, the uh, wasn't looking for the sweet spot there. He just had to get, he felt forced on there. Just kind of threw it on there, crossed his fingers, and a simple flick of the C-Stick is going to end the stock. Meanwhile, PPMD had like a huge, huge head of steam. And that's also how this game can be lost. It's with the F-Airs. You know, it doesn't need to be beautiful to stuff the strike by PP. It doesn't need to be beautiful tippers and these amazing Ken combos. If you just do 400 fares, one of them's going to kill. Eventually. That will end matches. And we'll see that happen in Marthos. First counter thrown out by either player. Well, not something we see very, very often because commitment afterwards. <laughs> but PPMD only. PPMD lead. with the crouch cancel uh, conversion to the kill. You know, it feels like just yesterday that M2K was unbeatable in the Marth Ditto, and PPMD said that may not be the case. Who is this guy? If Where said, did he learn the Marth Ditto? Who taught him, Proc? Who taught this man how to mark it out? He's a student of the game, but M2K is the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is the game, it's true. Everyone looking for these dares out of shield. Yeah, they're just styling on each other now. Okay, Mewtwo King gets the grab and a chance to... Ledge card, I like PP's choice there with that upbeat to go a little bit above the ledge. Mewtwo King not able to convert anything off of it. Actually, for a moment, we saw M2K so close in PP's face that he actually passed through the hitbox of yeah. the sword. That's the problem with destroying a hitbox at times. They're that close in. But what's M2K scheming? Because you know he is. He's at the ledge. He has come for He's scheming. This looks familiar. Not the same as the Sheik, though. All right, we're going to see the down throw, which throws the character backwards. And Mewtwo King just... He won the sweet spot so bad at that time. How... how... How does it happen, Prague? Sometimes it's all about the flow of the game. As many things on? can go right for you. Uh oh. This is scary. Captain Falcon. Falcon. Okay, we're about to see something embarrassing or history making. I haven't There's seen. There's nowhere a, in between. I haven't seen his Captain Falcon in tournament since Revival of Melee One. <laughs> Revival of Melee One of Smash Documentary. Faith. Woo! Gets that stomp, but what PPMD did there is called the Meteor Cancel. Timing is up B properly, so he doesn't go right to his death. 
A Falcon kick. Mewtwo King styling right from the first stock. And a taunt. Is Mewtwo King the new Falcon main that everyone's been waiting for? PPMD going for that reverse Dolphin Slash, which can get the kill, but didn't quite get the right hitboxes on it. Mewtwo King in control again. That Raptor Boost is always a really, really risky option. It's true. And again, Mewtwo King is just going all or nothing here. You're going to see him just throwing stuff out there. If it works, and I beat PP, great. If it doesn't, well, I'm already down 2-1, and I'm not good. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing Falcon. I'm playing a pink Falcon in front of hundreds of my fans. Plus thousands at home that are watching. You better believe it. And, that, and I think that, that would feel like a victory for our friend Jason Zimmerman. However, PPMD showing these two are able to punish each other so strong. Good job to reset, get the grab. And that's going to do it. Is that Hacks? <laughs> Is that Hacks? <laughs> He's doing it for the Hacks fans. Ooh, and that looks very, very Mewtwo King-esque. Vicious. Vicious spike. Yeah, we're seeing Mewtwo King's Marth versus Hax's Cat and Falcon. It's exciting stuff. Yeah, in fact, I, I forgot which characters were which for a second, Prog. <laughs> this is unbelievable. All right, wow. Raptor Boost, throwing it out there. All right, PPMD back on the stage doing some dash dancing. Has the grab. How long can he keep it? It's going to keep it long enough for a re-grab. Long enough is the answer. Keeps it going. Mewtwo King is back on the ledge, but his options are limited. That's going to be a spike in a two-stock and the series. 3-0 for PPMD up against M2K. And, you know, M2K recently has said that he's had kind of a mental block against PP. Well, and, you know, it seems like he's always so close and we have one mistake that just changes everything. It's true. It's true. Wow, what a set that was. I get my notes, I gotta reorganize things. A 3-0, did not see that coming. I was expecting definitely a tight set. I thought 3-2. Not a swift 3-0 like that. No, definitely PPMD, not. PPMD, two set wins in, on his way to being the champion. Well, I mean, everyone's still vying for it. Mm -hmm. This is still pools. We're not even close to bracket yet. Oof. I'm getting chills. All right, but in the meantime, we're going to commercial, I believe, and uh, stay tuned. <laughs>